Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus y is equal to 24, xy is equal to 48. To find the values of x and y from these two systems of equations. Now, in the first step, let's start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now, from equation 1, which is this here, x plus y is equal to 24. Here, we will make y the subject. So, we'll take x to the right side. So, it will be y is equal to 24. x to take this side will be minus x. Then, in the next step, from equation 2, whereas equation 2, it is this x, y is equal to 48. Into here, from this y here, we substitute y, which is 24 minus x. So, it will be x times y, we substitute this here, 24 minus x bracket is equal to this 48. Then here it will be x times 24, it is 24x. x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 48. Then here we will start by this here, negative x square, then plus this 24x. We we'll take my, this 48 to the left side, so it will be minus 48 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, this minus x square will make this positive. So we will multiply the whole equation times negative 1. So it will be negative x square times negative 1 is positive x square. Then positive 24x times negative 1, it is minus 24x. Then minus 48 times negative 1, it is plus 48 is equal to 0 times negative 1, it is 0. Then from this equation here, quadratic equation, we'll solve this by using quadratic formula. Now to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b. b is quotient of x which is negative 24 bracket plus or minus square root of b square. It will be minus 24 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 48 then over 2 times a a it is 1 then it will be x is equal to minus minus 24 it is positive 24 plus or minus square root of minus 24 square so minus times minus is positive so it will be 24 times 24 here 4 times 4 is 16 go with 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 it is 9 2 times 4 it is 8 2 times 2 it is 4 we add here it will be 6 this plus this is 17 go with 1 here it will be 5 so 24 square it is 576. Then minus 4 times 48. Here it will be minus 4 times 8. It is 32. Go 3. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 it is 19. Then over 2 times 1 it is 2. Then it will be x is equal to 24 plus or minus square root of this minus this 6 minus 2 it is 4 here it will be 17 17 minus 9 here it is 8 here it will be 4 4 minus 1 here it is 3 then over 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 24 
plus or minus square root of this 384 let's find the prime factors of this number so from 384 here divide by 2 it is 1 here it will be 9 2 here by 2 it is 9 here 12 here it will be 6 then divide by 2 it is 4 8 here divide by 2 it is 2 4 then divide by 2 it is 1 2 then divide by 2 it is 6 then divide by 2 it is 3 so the prime factors of this how many is 2 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times 3 so 2 power of 7 but to be able to find the square root it will be 2 power of 6 then times 2 times 3 so times 2 times 3 then over 2 then in the next step here it will be x is equal to 24 plus or minus square root we separate square root of this here which is 2 power of 6 times square root of 2 times 3 it is 6 then over this 2 so it will be x is equal to 24 plus or minus square root of 2 power of 6 it is 2 power of 3 then times this square root of 6 over 2 then it will be x is equal to 24 plus or minus 2 power of 3 it is 8 square root of 6 then divide by 2, we we'll divide by 2 in this part and in this part. So it will be x is equal to 24 divided by 2, it is 12, plus or minus 8 divided by 2, it is 4, then square root of 6. So from here we have two values of x. Therefore, the first value of x is equal to, when it is positive, it will be 12 plus 4 square root of 6 the second value of x is equal to when it is negative it is 12 minus 4 square root of 6 so into here here we got the values of x now to get y we will recall from here y is equal to 24 minus x so from y is equal to 24 minus x then here x1 so it will be y1 is equal to 24 minus x1 which is this here 12 plus 4 square root of 6 then it will be y1 is equal to 24 we take negative inside so minus 12 here it will be minus 4 square root of 6 then it will be y1 is equal to 12, 24 minus 12, it is 12, then minus 4, square root of 6. So, this is value of x1, this is y1. Therefore, x1, comma, y1, bracket, is equal to x1, it is this here, which is 12 plus 4, square root of 6, comma, y1, it is, 12 minus 4 square root of 6 this is first solution now from this here x2 we use this equation here of y is equal to 24 minus x so this is x2 so it will be y2 is equal to 24 minus x we substitute this so it will be bracket 12 minus 4 square root of 6 bracket so it will be y2 is equal to 24 we take negative inside so it will be minus 12 here minus and minus to be plus 4 square root of 6 so it will be y2 is equal to this minus this it is 12 then plus 4 square root of 6 
So from here, this is x2, this is y2. So x2, y2 is equal to x2, which is this here. 12 minus 4 square root of 6, comma, y2, it is 12 plus 4 square root of 6. So these are the two solutions into this our uh, problem. Now in the next step, let's check these answers if they are correct. So to check from our problem, we choose x plus y is equal to 24 and x times y is equal to 48. Now we'll check by using one solution. Because the value of x in here, it is the value of y. And the value of y in the first solution, it is the value of x. So let's check for this first solution. So from x plus y, so it will be this plus this. So here it will be x plus y, it will be 12 plus x, it is this. 12 plus 4 square root of 6 then plus y, it is this here, 12 minus 4 square root of 6, is it equal to this 24? Now here to simplify, this 4 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6 will cancel, so it will be 12 plus 12, it is equal to 24, so this is correct. Now let's check for the second equation x times y so by using the first solution this times this so it will be 12 plus 4 square root of 6 then times 12 minus 4 square root of 6 is it equal to this 48 now from this part and this part here this here let's multiply so it will be 12 times 12 it is 12 square then 12 times negative 4 so here it will be 12 here minus 12 times 4 it is 48 square root of 6 then 4 square root of 6 times 12 it will be plus 4 times 12 is 48 square root of 6 then here it will be this times this so it will be minus 4 square root of 6 bracket square is it equal to 48 then from here it will be 12 square it is 144 this 4 48 square root of 6 minus 48 square root of 6 this and this will cancel so it will be minus here 4 square so 4 square then square root of 6 square is it equal to 48 then it will be 144 minus 4 square it is 16 times square root of 6 square this square root will cancel square so it will be times 6 is it equal to 48 then it will be 144 then 6 times minus 6 times 6 is 36 go 3 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 it is 9 is it equal to 48 here it will be 14 14 minus 6 it is 8 here we borrowed 1 to be 13 13 minus 9 it is 4 is equal to 48 so left side and right side are equal then it is true then it is true for the second for this first solution here it is correct also the second solution is also correct Thank you for watching, don't forget these tips to miss out, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video, bye bye.